And last, but certainly not least, And sometimes worrying about this solar panel is just a pain in the butt. <sighs> so today I'm heading towards Valley of the Gods. And Valley of the Gods, as far as I've been able to understand, is like a miniature monument valley, but you can drive through it and it's free and you can camp anywhere you want inside of it. Which sounds epic, but... After the Moki Dugway, I don't trust what people say at all. So by the end of this video, we'll see how accurate that actually is because you never know. This place is supposed to have really cool views too. So hopefully at sunset, it's going to be epic and sunrise. Sunrise at Muley Point, that was like the best sunrise. Mm, top 10, top 10. So I'm hoping this place can be just as good. I also have a meal plan for tonight that I'm pretty excited about. Ooh, what is that? I have smoked sausage mac and cheese, which sounds really fancy, but I promise it's not. It's just smoked sausage and normal mac and cheese. <laughs> but it's delicious, I'll tell you that much. Last night I camped near Mexican Hat, so I'm only like 20 minutes away from Valley of the Gods. Welcome to Valley of the Gods. As you can tell, it doesn't look like there's a ton out here. Definitely less than Monument Valley, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I don't know where this road goes yet, so I guess let's go figure it out. Okay, look how amazing that is out there. Probably pretty hard to see in this camera, but uh, I'll zoom it in when I'm editing. That is so cool. It's just like a little spire sticking up, man. I'm thinking there's gonna be more over here. I think the road goes that way eventually, actually. So I'm hoping so. But uh, yeah. So this little thingy is called Lady in the Bathtub. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, I'll zoom it in, but like that's her head, that's the bathtub, and then she's got a little foot sticking up out of the bathtub there. That's kind of funny actually. At first I saw it on Google Maps what it was called and I was like that's weird, but that makes sense now. That's kind of cool. I can see why they call this place Valley of the Gods, man. This is so cool. These things are massive. This is honestly a lot like Monument Valley. Monument Valley is like more tightly packed almost. This is like more spread out. But it is very, very cool. I love this. Dude, look at this. This car is not gonna make it on these roads. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gosh dang, man. Dude, that car ain't gonna make it. The van is getting close to rubbing bottom on some of these. <laughs> it's gonna rip this car apart. That's hilarious. I may have found an okay spot. 
all the super cool ones where I actually wanted to go were all taken up, man. That was depressing. But this is also a very good view, so. Oh, heck yeah. We're, come on, man. We're camping here. This is a great spot. Camping with that? Can't complain. Uh-uh. Right here. Okay. Unfortunately, it's right next to the main road, but you know what? Look at that. That is amazing. That is supreme view. Ah, what an epic spot, man. Mm, this is living. This is living. Excellent view. Excellent view. Excellent view. Excellent view. Whoo! This is why I want to travel right here. First, I was wishing I would camp. I would have camped up there, where all the other people were. But they're all in the shade, and they're not going to be able to see the sunset. And with those clouds and that sun, that's going to be a good sunset, man. If I were the devil, the first thing that I'd do is I'd come off like I ever gave a damn about you. I'd let you catch a peek of all your greatest desires, then I'd watch the flames in your eyes burn like hellfire. Find all the wolves in the land And I'd make them fight each other Tooth and nail and hand to hand Find all the sheep, make them stir up the pot Cause once the wolves have killed each other Sheep are what I want As the sun went down, I kind of just sat there and admired the sunset and this amazing view I had in front of me. But eventually, as the sun went down, it brought the cold, so I climbed inside the van for a warmer place to admire. The sun is pretty much went down, but it's still kind of light out. And I don't want to cook dinner yet, so I'm going to read for a while and enjoy myself. <sighs> Sheesh. Beautiful. I believe it is time for some dinner. And I told you this was a simple meal, but it is honestly one of my favorites because it's very filling. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese ingredients, smoked sausage, that's all. Step one, slice her up. Step two, start cooking them up. Ah. Hot. Step three, Macaroni and cheese. Step four, taste test. Yes. Step five, mix it together. I mean mix it all together. And when I say all, I mean all together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Step, whatever the heck this is, I forget. Pack dinner for tomorrow. And last, but certainly not least, enjoy. That looks so good, man. It's probably not that healthy for me. But, uh, it's easy to make, and that's what matters. Especially in this cooking setting. I just decimated the mac and cheese sausage population. That was so good. Oh, yummy. Uh. I've been working on the railroad. 
all the live long day. Favorite part about this whole thing. Doing dishes. Oh. Dishes are just the worst part about it all. Whole part of van life. Dishes are the crappiest, suckiest, BS part of this whole thing. Woo! This time that one goes in the laundry. That is the problem with this van so far, the build. I have nowhere to put dirty clothes, but inside the van with me so it's stinky i think i need to get another box on the outside just for dirty clothes and maybe garbage too because it gets stanky in here it is now currently seven o'clock 658 and it's pitch black outside it's kind of sucked because for the past i mean the whole time i've been traveling like it gets dark at 6 30 that is way early compared to the summer. So I'm stuck inside the van for like hours at a time. On nights I don't hook up Starlink, like tonight, I don't have entertainment other than I can do designs on my iPad the, the for Rattlesnake like I've been doing, or I can read. And I can also listen to music. And that's just about it there is to do. I need to figure out some new hobbies to do inside the van that require low storage. So if you have any ideas for uh, hobbies I can do in here while there's nothing else going on, give me some ideas because there's a lot of stuff I could be doing that I, I need some ideas to get that circulating. So leave some ideas, please. So I just spent like the last hour, maybe hour and a half, doing a little bit of a diary here. And then, so I kind of wrote about today and yesterday and a little bit about my trip so far just because i was like you know what i want to like remember this one day you know i just wanted to to write it down that way i wrote stuff like little diary things down before and then looked back in the like let's say i wrote it when i was eight i looked back when i was 12 and i was like dang like i forgot about that stuff but then when i wrote it and read it like that memory flooded back and it was awesome i gotta have a way of doing that on this trip like i'm gonna when I'm 50, I'm going to forget a lot of the stuff that I've done on this trip. So this is what I did. I kind of just wrote about today. I wrote about what I did yesterday and how I felt and stuff. And then I was like, you know what? I need to write about all the stuff that I've done and just summarize it. And so that's what I did. I started at Moab and then my Canyonlands and then kind of the stuff I did and Blanding and Cedar Mesa. And I just went through all the things that I've done and just it, kind of the, the areas I did and then what I've done, wh where I camped, what I did during the day. Just a quick little summary of everything. And yeah, that that's the last thing I've done. That, that was today. But I'm going to get into bed ah, where it is a little warm since it's starting to chill off. And I'm going to spend the rest of the night reading my book. Okie okie dokie. Brr. Cold, cold, cold. It's like 10.30 right now. And I plan on waking up at about 6.30 in the morning to catch the sunrise. And hopefully see these rocks light up with the sunrise. So I will see you all first thing in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It is 30 degrees out. It's cold, but look at the view. Worth it. And I might have lied. I said I was going to get up at 6.30. Well, I forgot to set my alarm, so I ended up waking up at 7, and I got up at 7, so I was half an hour wrong.
Look at this, you guys. This is baloney. Look at this. That side's good, but the bottom. If you know anything about Astro Vans, help me out. Overall, I did not expect much out of Valley of the Gods. As I said in the first of the video, I was pretty skeptical about this place because I don't trust people anymore about their reviews of places, but I was wrong so far. This place has been really cool so far. Overall, I really enjoyed it so far, but I'm not quite done with the road yet. As you can see, I'm only like three quarters of the way on the road, or at least I think only three quarters. I might be only like halfway or a quarter so once we drive the rest of the road and i get to the end i'll give you my final score rating of valley of the gods time to head out You know what? It is nice enough I can put the window down. This. So I can see the end of the road down there. So we actually did go through most of Valley of the Gods. So this is pretty much the end of it, but uh, I just wanted to give one last view of Valley of the Gods before we get out of it. Beautiful, especially up in there. Might be hard to tell on camera, but with my eyes, it is gorgeous. So yeah, there is Valley of the Gods. When I get down to the road, I will give you the review. All right, this is the end of Valley of the Gods. As you can see, the road is just right there. And I actually get to go through a little bit of a creek before I get out of here, but overall, Valley of the Gods, between campsites, views, and everything, I give it a solid, solid eight out of 10. It's a good, it's a cool spot. Comparing it to Monument Valley, because I think that's kind of what it compares to the best. Um, I honestly like this better. Monument Valley, of course, has the iconic and scenic views that everyone wants to get a picture of, so that's worth visiting, but if I had to go to one or the other, I'd probably choose this one because it's more free. Like, there's, you're not constricted by a bunch of rules and you don't have to pay to get in and you can actually camp inside with, like, the monuments or the gods, whatever you want to call them. So, overall, I like this better than I did Monument Valley. Valley of the Gods is definitely worth the trip. So if you're coming through here, stop at Valley of the Gods. But uh, I think that's going to wrap up this video, you guys. Um, overall, good trip. Good trip. <clears throat> so if you're interested in seeing some more of my videos, make sure to subscribe. That way you can follow along on my travels. Uh, keep seeing me travel around the United States. And if you haven't already, go check out Rattlesnake Clothing Company. That's where I create designs and put them on t-shirts so if you're interested in seeing some designs that i have made i'll put the link to rattlesnake clothing in the description make sure you check that out and until next time y'all i will see you then be safe have fun look forward to my videos bye